What's up people, it's DevSage here, and in this video, I'm gonna be going over dynamic property names in JavaScript. So dynamic property names aren't new to JavaScript, but it's something that a lot of people aren't necessarily familiar with. So let's say I have an object literal. Let's name this object literal cryptos. It's gonna hold some information for some different cryptocurrencies. And let's say I have one key value pair inside of our cryptos object literal, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is gonna have a value of 35,000. If I wanna print out the value of the Bitcoin property here inside of cryptos, I can say cryptos.bitcoin. And if I print this, we get 35,000. So Bitcoin here is a statically defined property name. It's hard coded right here in front of us. So we always know that this property is Bitcoin. Well, JavaScript allows us to use dynamic property names or property names that are based off of some variable such that we don't necessarily know the value of the property name up front, but JavaScript figures it out. So what do I mean by that? So let's say we have a variable uh, LTC to represent Litecoin. And let's, this is gonna hold the string Litecoin. Let's say we wanted to add a dynamic property name to our crypto's object literal with the value, with the, with the property name being Litecoin here. So how do we do this? Oops, let me open this back up. So what we can do is we can go in the object literal here and we can do square bracket LTC and then colon and then give it some value. So let's say 150. Okay, this syntax here, the square bracket, variable square bracket syntax tells JavaScript that the value here is going to be some kind of a variable that we want to dynamically evaluate on the fly. So what JavaScript does behind the scenes is it finds the value of this variable and it replaces this, replaces this variable with the actual value that's associated with it. So essentially what JavaScript is doing behind the scenes is, uh, let's say this was dis oops, let's say that was gone. JavaScript is saying Litecoin 150. That's what these, these two lines mean the same thing. That's what JavaScript is essentially doing behind the scenes. So it's taking the value of some variable and dynamically injecting that value as the property name. So now if we wanted to go and print out uh, cryptos.litecoin, which we haven't defined statically, but we have dynamically, let's see what we get. We have 35,000 and 150. And that is a little bit about dynamic property names in JavaScript. It's a quick little video, but you know, not everybody is familiar with this, but hopefully you have a better understanding of it. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you want more content. But other than that, peace.